Welcome again to be truly transformed. You have a mighty God that can do all things for you. He knows how to take away every unhealthy situation and put you up above them all. Is the devil making your life unbearable for you? Is your life a ground where the devil comes to make mock of God? Are you facing challenges strong beyond your capacity? Are there things you cannot say unless they cause you pains? Is the fight fierce and your efforts are becoming fruitless and vain? Is the fight fierce and your efforts are becoming fruitless and vain? You cannot allow the devil to continue to defeat you. You cannot let him molest you at all times because you have a God most powerful that is a specialist in turning lives around. Once have I spoken twice, have I heard that all power belongs to God. If all power belongs to God, then you have the victory in God and you cannot continue to struggle all your life with that disease. Addictions. Allow God to handle the situation and he will give you rest. When it's hard, when it's uncontrollable, when it is worse when you think you cannot bear it anymore, when your life is about to drop at last breath, when innumerable counts of propagandas are alleged against you, when you have lost all hope and your strength has failed you to rescue you out of the messy situations. This is when the Mighty One comes in if you invite him, if you let go of the struggle and let God fight for you, if you acknowledge your weakness and humility before him that you cannot fight the battle alone and he should come in and fight for you. God knows your capacity and your strength. He knows what extent you can handle any situation threatening your life. He knows you cannot handle it and he is eagerly waiting for you to invite him to fight for you. God will always come if you let go of your pride and let him fight for you. There is always a way you can excuse yourself from the battle and be free from the situations confronting your life. Your pain is where God shows himself mighty and powerful because he goes before you to fight your battle. Why then would you not let go when it's hard for you? Why would you insist on stressing yourself when God is always telling you to let him fight for you? God cannot come to fight for you if you do not let him. He will not fight for you if all you do is thinking he has left you in your situation and turned his back at you. He will not fight for you if you do not believe in him. What God wants from you is to allow him to fight for you because the battle against your life is a battle against his purpose for your life. He knows the devil will not allow you to fulfill it without a fight. That is the reason he is always ready to fight for you at any time, only if you humbly allow him to fight for you and you will have your peace. You have to know that the fight raging against you, the criminal allegation against you, the propaganda to ruin your good name and good works are against your destiny, your dreams and your God-given purpose. And these are not in your hands to handle because you wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principality and powers in high places. You know what? You just have to let go and let God fight for you. For the Lord, your God, is he who goes with you to fight your enemies, to give you the victory. Deuteronomy 3.22 The life in the world we have found ourselves in is full of dangers and the works of the bad man when you are facing the personal and spiritual trouble against your soul by the enemy. You are also facing the physical hatred, competitions, unhealthy criticism from people around your society and your families. You cannot continue to stir at them without acting so fast to be free and protected from victory and protected from the weapons of the enemies. You have to act fast in letting God fight for you and give you the victory. Can we share the truth with one another? There are troubles and bad conditions of living, oppositions, challenges you don't need to live with right now. You don't have to allow that sadness to occupy that space in your life. You don't have to allow that pain, addictions, hatred, emotional injuries to keep tormenting and keeping you depressed every time. You have to decide to be free. Live right. You have to decide to enjoy good health and sound mind. You have to decide to let go and let God come in and fight for you. The opposition, antagonism, the allegation of fraud against you at your offices and you don't know how to get out of it. This is the good news. Christ is your deliverer, your helper. He does everything with ease, the mighty miracle of God. He can deliver you if you let him fight for you. He can turn the situation around in your favor. He will make a way for you where your human experience, power, consultation, and your favor. He can deliver you if you let him fight for you. He can turn the situation around in your favor. He will make a way for you where your human experience, power, consultation, and where your wisdom cannot make the way. You do not have the power to fight because you don't have the immortal power, but God does. The real spiritual warrior is the one that let go and allow God to fight for him. Your proposals may have been rejected so many times, your application not considered. That is not just the end. It is the beginning of the victory and the freedom and ecstasy if you let go and let God fight for you. You have to pray and trust in him. Moses led the Israelites out of the land of Egypt towards the desert. Before them was the Red Sea, and behind them are the chariots of Pharaoh. It was a serious situation with lots of pressures. Moses went back to God in reference that it is harder than they can handle. 
He invited God and let him fight for them. God instructed him what to do about it, and it is done. They were victorious. This is how God fights the battle for his children, when they are faced with a battle against them. There is nothing less than victory from God. You don't have to fight it alone. You cannot fight for yourself. The battle is not yours, but for the Lord. He said, Come to me, all you that are burdened and heavy laden, and he will give you rest. The fight is so heavy that you cannot bear it alone. The struggle against sin, the struggle to show your innocence, the fight of ill health and about to lose a loved one. Your job is on the verge of slipping off. The antagonism is getting stronger every day. You cannot afford to live with them and wear yourself out trying to fight for yourself. Just let go and let God fight for you. The raging crisis is against your faith in Christ. The enemy wants to destroy your belief and relationship with God. The enemy wants you to think God has left you and he has failed you and you have been crushed and broken by what you are facing and going through in your spiritual and your physical life. Your emotional crisis are all the working of the devil to distract you from focusing on your peace and happiness. This is the strategies of the devil to bring you down from your high place of honor in God and reduce you to a defeated and faithless Christian. The religious threats are to make you lose your faith and become faithless, but you have everything you need to stand in your faith. You have God to fight for you. You have the Holy Spirit inside you. You have the words of the Lord. You read the words to know what you ought to do at any time you are terrified. The Holy Spirit gives you comfort and the strength of God to be bold and courageous. He will quicken your mortal body to withstand the pressure as they confront you on any side. Remember the swords of the Spirit are the words of God, available for you to fight through in faith. God wants to see you always victorious. You cannot fight the devil with the power of the devil. You challenge the devil's work in your life with the swords of the Spirit. The devil is not tired of fighting the children of God, and God is not tired of fighting for his own children. Sometimes the devil makes fun of you because you have not let go of the fight and allowed God to fight the battle. The best warrior suitable to fight the war raging against your life is God. You cannot do it on your own power. You get justice from God. Luke 18. The widow prayed for justice from the judge who does not fear God, nor care about any man. The woman continued to disturb him for justice, and the man said, I will see that this widow gets just from her adversaries. That is how God comes in to change your life and do all things for you. You have to keep calling on him till you get the justice you pled for. The widow knows it only the judge that can help her fight the battle. She trusted in the judge for victory. She believed if I let go and let him do it, he's going to fight for me. This is the same mind and attitude you have to put up any time and every time because the harder it becomes, the more you could be defeated if you do not let go and let God fight your battle. God is good and his mercy endures forever. Jeremiah 30, 17. But I will restore you to health and heal your wounds. Your wounds, bruises, your ill health are no big deal for him to take away and give you peace and joy, victory on every side, and you will know that he is God in all earth. Exodus 15, 3. Let us flee from the Israelites, said the Egyptian, for the Lord is fighting their battle. Fear brings you to the place of defeat and lack. You have to take away fear and bring up faith. You have to take away doubt and bring in hope. For in hoping you see your desires growing into reality. Fear is of the devil and faith is of the Lord. You have to engage God in your prayers. You have to be on the side of the Lord. You have to make way for the mighty God to come in. You have to acknowledge your weakness before God and let him strengthen you and fight for you. Call upon him and he will answer you. No mountain is too high for you to climb and no river is too wide for you to cross. You cannot do it in your power and strength. You have to let go of your own power, experience, skill, knowledge, wisdom, wealth, influence, because these have not helped you in this time. You have to let go of all these and let God fight for you. Build your capacity so that God can pour more of himself into you and do more through you on the earth. That's how it works, but you've got to build your capacity. The Bible says, to him who has, more will be given. Now that runs so contrary to a lot of our thinking, and we think, well, they just deserve more because they're just little and struggling. And there may be a case where that's true. I'm not dismissing that, but I'm saying, by and large, if you're ineffective with what you have, and you're mismanaging what you have, why is God going to give you more to mismanage? He's not going to do that. You're not responsible for anybody else's life. Each one of us wants to hear, well done, good and faithful servant. Our own well done. That's what it comes down to. Do you sometimes feel like nothing significant is happening in your life? Like you're just stuck? Well then it's time to change things up. 